is a fairly true to the original clone of the MXR Phase 90, with an added feedback switch to intensify the phase effect a little further. I'm going to be demonstrating it through a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe, recorded with the Red 5 RVD9 dynamic microphone straight from the speaker, combined with a couple of impulse responses. I'm going to be using a 1989 Fender USA Stratocaster Plus. First of all, I'd like to mention this is my favorite deco work to date, and most definitely some of the silliest I've done. The pedal has one control, which affects the speed. The earlier mentioned switch enables feedback to slightly intensify the effect. Now first of all, here's my clean tone. Now the speed at the lowest, and the feedback switch disabled. Now with the speed at 12 o'clock. Now once again at 12 o'clock, but with the feedback switch enabled. Now with the feedback switch disabled once again at 3 o'clock. And now with the speed maxed out. And now to top it off with max speed and the feedback switch enabled. To get a proper phasing effect out of this unit, you're going to need four JFET transistors that measure the same value. 
From some sources you should be able to buy them pre-matched, but otherwise getting a big batch and measuring them out until you have four of the same value is the way to go. There's two internal trim paths. One to dial in the right voltage for the optimal amount of phase. The second one tweaks the intensity of the feedback switch, which you can adjust to taste. This build was quite easy. Obviously, due to the limited amount of controls, there's not a lot of offboard wiring. The board is easy to populate, and also factoring in the spacious 1590B enclosure, it's a joy to build. Thank you. 